What up, this is Abdullah, Sean P. Ricard, CEO on the Saturday. I'm here today to tell you something about my man Cookie. Now nah, I mean, his memory live on. We know yesterday was one year since he passed, and you know what I mean? His music live on to my Cookie. Friend. You know, I saw, I real. Never get a chance to meet the dude, but just to hear how niggas talk about the dude, just for that, make me realize that this. Dude had to be a real nigga. What I remember about Cookie? Cookie is very, very aggressive towards his dream, very passionate, and his, his, his work ethic is great, you know what I mean? I remember this one time, um, me and Cookie was going to a show, me, Cookie Killer Cares, and the other go to boys was going to a show to perform for um, Miss Jones at um, Caroline's. And that same morning, they stole Cookie's truck. No, 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 he assumed they stole his truck. He didn't know they stole his truck or not. But instead of East, that, that, that stopping him from going to the show, while we were going to the show, he was calling the precinct to find out about his truck or whatever was the case, you know what I'm saying? But we, when we get there at the show, you know what I mean, he find out that, yo, his truck is in the pond, whatever, to pick it up from the parking violation. And what I learned from that, that ain't nothing stop Cookie from doing his music, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't letting nothing coming his way because that was the, the devil way of stopping us from going and do that great show. And when we ended up going to do that show, we was like the only artist that get for the five seconds of air time. When every artist was doing the the, the, um, the audition was cutting for the soon to say, yo, what up? And I'm just getting cut. And God of Boys was the only artist get for the five seconds of air time. I do my whole verse and the whole hook. You know what I mean? That was good. When we done Miss Jones say, yo, y'all remind me of Wu Tang like back in the days, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing I remember Cookie, you know what I mean? Yo, what up? It's your boy Castro. You get killer Cas. Going on work right now in the studio. You know what I mean, you niggas talk about, you know, his life and what and what's not. You know, I'm messing with Sean P Records. You know, Abdullah, the whole family, Killer Cas, the whole of them. Yeah, but right now it's just a thing for Cookie. You know, I feel it because just to see how them dudes talk, talk about him, and I've been through the same situation with, with losing my brother and everything. You know, so it's it's the same deal, but. All the things I hear them talk about him, all the memories that they bring up and all that, is like I was there. It's like I got to know the dude personally because just to hear about a real nigga, you just know what a real nigga is like. So it's just that. All right, and seeing you as an artist too, right? And you listen to his music. What do you think about his music? Yeah, man, the vibes crazy, you know. Mm, see him, the vibes crazy. Right. You know, everything real. It, he had good music, yeah. He had crazy music, crazy vibes. I like that style, you know. Although I didn't, you know, hear about him before, but since I started listening to the music, messing with Sean P, you know, the real good boys, you know, the music was crazy. Cookie's a very funny dude, you know what I'm saying? And what I respect about him, like, if Cookie's the type of artist, if he go on a track and he can say this, he can say this on a track, he, he do it real life, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's, 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 it's bad that he had to die the way he died, but he talk about that in his song, you know what I'm saying? So the only I could do is give respect to him. He was not fake, you know what I mean? He said he would never run. His own family running him, you know what I'm saying? His own friends run of him, and I don't think Cookie would ever run on them niggas, you know what I'm saying? But last but not least, man, Cookie is in my heart, you know what I mean? Cookie, R.I.P., you know what I'm saying? Go to boys for life, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do my thing. We can do our thing. How we miss my nigga? Sticking a little time out, representing my boy Cookie. That like a year ago, you know what I mean? It's messed up how we died, how we gone. Well, got to leave. I ain't never met home, boy, but I don't know this music lately. And it's telling me crazy. And they have potential to go far, a couple of hair records. So it's just a terrible tragedy to get somebody that talented and get lost that quick. I mean, it's just a hit to us. Not just a hit to us as black people, but a hit to hip hop in general, all music. Because, I mean, sun music not defined. It's like Caribbean hip hop slap. Stay focused with my music. I remember the last show that we do with Cookie. What's it, um, Eminem TV? Like, yeah, I mean, it's a terrible situation these days. Black man killing black man. And you know what I mean, he could have been something like he could have did his thing in this music industry. Like having the gutter boys, some of their records, I've been hand spinning rotations through Abdullah and song that he did. We started gutter boys thing, like when we just hooked up. I mean, freestyle on the job, used to freestyle bubblegum, used to freestyle to part with a boomer, smash it right now. And I mean, everybody knew that. 
that track right there is on fire. Cookie energy was crazy, you know what I mean? Cookie, cookie sneak, cook, the mic was talking to Cookie foot. He put the mic by his feet, and you know what I mean? Yeah, he trying to let his feet say bubblegum. You know what I'm saying? That's how crazy he is. You know what I mean? Don't know. Cookie was a real pushy type of nigga, you know what I mean? Like, real pushy out there to go and do stuff. If he got something to do, he want to do it right away, and he want it now to play in the club, like right now. He want it done right now. Perfect and everything, you know what I mean? He was a real pushy nigga, that's why I respect him. I ain't got that pushy guy, yo. He used to push us to go out there, that's why Gutter Boys like we're Gutter Boys today. Some people didn't like the name Gutter Boys, but he didn't really care about that. He just wanted to like, do him. He said he's from the gutter, and his name of his crew gonna be Gutter Boys, so if you don't like it, fuck you. That's how it was. I saw more of the family, Gaddy G, you don't know, say we are the prodigy. Can't Mama. stop it, you don't know, say me just stop. Say a little thing about it. It's just crazy with it. But, you know what I mean, on a lighter note, I'm focusing on my project, Young Cocky and Arrogant. This shit got a month away. Cookie is the type of dude that reminds me of me. You know what I mean? Like the way I approach things in life, he approaches things like the similar way. Like, you know what I mean? Cookie's the type of dude, like, if he can't get somebody to do his video for him, he's the type of dude who goes and buy his own camera. Buy his own shit and do his own shit. No matter what the quality is, he accept it because yo, it's cookie does it. And that's a, that's the same thing I do, you know what I'm saying? I can remember when I couldn't get people to record me and shit. I was like, you know what? I think I can make it when I get my home studio. And I do that, you know what I'm saying? I can remember Cookie called me up to do a, a a video for a song and he was trying to get footage to practice his editing skills and the shit, you know what I mean? And I wasn't in, in the right shape, but I realized I know what he want to do, so I support him in that, you know what I mean? We go out there, we have fun, we do other thing, you know what I mean? And he get better, you know what I mean? And it's sad to see that, yo, he never really get to accomplish what he want fully, and his life got short, you know what I'm saying? After a while, niggas came around, they get down, even though they didn't like it, but like, they flew with it because like, he was getting kind of big and everybody liked him and calling him up for shows and stuff like that. So they got a lot of dick riding niggas, but like I ain't gonna call names, you know what I mean? They even like the name Gutter Boys. And like, who's those niggas Gutter Boys? And like, after a while, get a little fame, everybody wanna come around. Some of the things I remember about him, and he's the type of dude, like, if you're gonna hang out with him too, man, you know what I mean? He loved the loudest in the fucking crowd, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know to, he doesn't know to make a joke feel so, you know what I mean? So sweet, you know what I mean? We definitely miss my nigga. Everybody make mistakes. But, like I said, my boy is going right now, just trying to move on from where he started. Good the boys thing, try my best, but like, fuck it, gotta do what I gotta do. My boy Cookie, R.I.P., the real funny nigga too. Yeah, if I gotta see shit we used to do, I know his girl ain't gonna be, <laughs> she ain't gonna be too happy with it, you know what I mean? She probably gonna get mad. <laughs> so I always keep it there like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to everybody that love my boy Cookie. If you really love Cookie, you're gonna feel what Sean P is doing right now. Alright. One. Let's kill the cars. Nah, don't cut me, cut me. Yo, what's up? Miss Killer Cars. No. Why I talk about my boy? My boy. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Okay.